hi you're welcome to photographics academy today we are going to be creating this exact picture you are seeing in the front of your screen right now using frequency separation lasso two specifically we'll be using lasso two to do frequency separation and create the exact image you are looking at your screen right now please stay tuned to the end of this video we are going to be learning amazing amazing stuff so what is the first thing we are going to do we'll drag our picture into photoshop so we just minimize to get our picture right into photoshop drag it right into photoshop leave it here and wait for it to load up mine is a raw image we are going to be dropping the exercise file so you can as well have access to the image so i've originally adjusted uh i've adjusted my camera roll adjustment to what i would want the image to look like before the video so i already did that you can look at the numbers if you want to replicate exactly what i have on my screen you can look at the numbers so i'm going to press open please remember to like and subscribe on our youtube channel so that you can be getting amazing content and getting notified each time we upload a new video okay so what is the first thing we are going to be doing we need to understand the concept of frequency separation first it simply means to separate your high frequency from your low frequency so you can be working on your low frequency without affecting your high frequency don't worry don't bother about the whole english it simply means separating your texture from your color so you can be working on your color without affecting your texture that is just the simplest meaning of frequency separation so how do we do it press ctrl j two times on your keyboard rename this one to low frequency i already have l so let me just go back rename this one to low frequency rename this one to high frequency close low frequency so that you can be able to see close high frequency rather so you can be able to see what is happening in low frequency i need to go into filter blur gaussian blur click on any part of the image so you can get a preview of what is happening there in your screen right here so just click here it's going to give you a preview of what is happening around that area here so what i need you to do right now is to blur your image until you stop until you stop seeing the skin texture put your gaussian blur at zero push your gaussian blur at zero then start blurring the image out until you stop seeing your skin these skin textures that you are seeing right here until you stop seeing it so i think nine nine will do a good job yes nine is cool let's check here there is no texture there we are still having a little texture here let's add it a little more okay i think i like it like this so we press ok after pressing ok we've been this is our low frequency so we've been able to separate our texture from our color so let's separate our color from our texture here contains just a color here contains just the texture so what do we do what do we do to remove our color from our texture we subtract it so how do we subtract it we subtract it how do we subtract it simply go into your image apply image your layer your layer right here should be click here select low make sure you are changing your blend mode to subtract because we are removing then your scale should be two offset should be 128 every other setting should remain the same press ok press ok so we are back into for into our workspace now we've been able to separate our texture but it's looking weird we can't work with it like this so what do we do convert the blend mode here change it to linear light change it to linear light hold control press on the low press control g to group them into into one group double click on the name to rename it fr frequency separation fr frequency separation so if i if i close this group you are going to notice that nothing is happening in the image why because the group contains the whole image but if i open it and start closing it one by one you are going to notice that they are making changes why this is where our texture is this is where our color is so let me give you a free tip you can just after making these settings if your image is low maybe it's a bit blur from the initial just drop your height your opacity a little and flatten your image to get your textures back that one is a free tip free tip so let's go back to what we are saying 
So click on low frequency, select your lasso tool, this particular one right here, your lasso tool. Make sure you put your feather at somewhere around 20. Let's put it at 20. So if you want to know the smoothness of your feather, just make a select a rough selection around your image. Press Q on your keyboard. If you press Q, this your mask is going to show up like this, showing your selection in this form. So let me remove the feather and do this so that you understand why we have to add feather. Let me do two. Let me do two then. Let me select it and press Q. So you, go, you are going to notice that the edges of our selection is too sharp. So if we are going to be doing anything with this feather now, it's going to make the image look very rough after the work. So that's why we are putting our feather at 20. If 20 doesn't work for you, just find the one that works for you. So I, I'll go around, make a rough selection, press Q to look at the feather. I think I'm impressed with what I'm seeing. So I will leave it at 20. So what do we do now? We start smoothening our image out using lasso tool. So make a selection. Now take your time and make a selection around your skin. Avoid the hairs. Avoid the hairs. If you paint, if you do it on the hairs, it's going to look weird. If you feel like you want to add to the selection, hold your shift and it's going to be able to add. If you feel like you want to remove, hold your alternate, and you are going to be able to remove it. See, we've removed it from our eyebrow. So having selected my forehead, go into filter, go into filter right here, blur, Gaussian blur. So as you are blurring, be looking at that particular place you've selected and when you are satisfied with the level of smoothness you have there we are good to go okay so just add it a little this is 45 i think it's too much 35 okay let's leave it at 30 and see and look at the before and after so this is before after before after don't bother about the blemishes we are going to remove it in a jiffy so I, I think i need a little more let me do it one more time you can right click and say load selection it's going to load it up again sorry hold on okay so we've done something before uh going before right clicking so when you right click and you want to reselect just go to reselect don't say load selection you say load selection if you've already made a select if you just if load selection is the is the next thing you are doing immediately after doing your lasso tool, then you can do load selection. But if you've done some things, go to reselect. So if you do reselect, it's going to load it up again. Right click and press Gaussian blur again. So we've applied it two times on that particular spot. Let me select here too, like this. Gaussian blur. If you think you are not satisfied, you can select this place, go into filter and manually adjust for that particular place. Yes, like this. But five is okay for that, please. So take your time and build your own. Take your time and do your own. Like this. Beautiful. So I'm going to be showing you a free trick of how you can fix your blemishes even inside frequency separation. I intentionally skipped that part before we started our frequency separation so I can show you. I'll show you how you can remove your pimples even when you are doing your frequency separation it's not a not a very difficult thing but if you don't know it you don't know it all right so just take your time make sure your image let's go back and look at our before see before after amazing before after i think i need it a little here at the edge of the forehead like this okay so let's go down to the body look at the body here select here Please avoid the edges so it doesn't look weird. If you notice, I'm following the movement of light. And I wouldn't want my image to look flat at the end of the day. So I'm just following the way the shape of her bones, the way the light is falling. I'm following that pattern to apply it. If I, I could just select everything like this and just apply it once, but it's going to make the image look flat. So I want to still retain some dimensions in the image. That's why I'm doing it little by little like this. Little by little. So we can still have our edges at the end of the day. Nice, beautiful. So just apply it on the hand. Right here. Enter a little, come out. Enter a little, come out. Sorry. 
Mm. Yeah, sham blonde. All right, so I think we missed the cheek by this. So if you don't like the intensity of it in a particular place, you can press Ctrl Shift F immediately after applying your Gaussian block. You either you press Ctrl Shift F, the fade will come up, or just right click on your on your selection and say fade Gaussian block. It's still the same thing. Bring it down a little. All right. So let's apply on the nose and now bring it down so it doesn't look weird. So right click. Fade Gaussian blur. Let's bring back the shape of our nose. Yes. So we just applied for four percent of the overall effect. So this is before and after. Now let's look at our image. We are noticing we are having some blemishes over here. So let's fix our pimple inside frequency separation. Minimize your group. Create a black and white layer over your group. Bring down the reds. Increase the blues a little. Sometimes it helps. Just bring down your reds to it, to the point where you are seeing the pimples clearly. Then inside frequency separation, right here, create a new layer up here. Create a new layer. Pick up your Gaussian. Pick up your uh, your clone stamp here. Pick up your clone stamp. Make sure you are, that the sample right here is current and below. Current and below. Let's do it like this. Or rather, let's just do sample. Current and below, yes. It doesn't work. We now sample all layers, but it should work. So minimize, make your custom, your clone stamp small. Make the size of your clone stamp small. Hold alternate to sample a particular part of your image and clean, clean your blemishes. Now, if you look at these blemishes, they are not cleaning. They are rather putting a black spot on our image. The reason is because we are working. Our texture is located inside our frequency not our low frequency remember we separated it if we didn't blow out our blemishes we can be able to since we said current and below it means we are sampling from this empty layer and low frequency but we want it to equally include our high frequency so what do we do simple delete this new layer go into your high frequency now use your clone stamp inside high frequency Look at it. Hold on. Excuse me. Pick your clone stamp. Oh, our black and white is applying a wrong color on our image. We'll go back. Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z. All right, so these are black and white. Go into your frequency separation. Let's use our healing patch to this one. Select it, drag it out. Nice. Select it, drag it out. Nice. Select it, drag it out. Select it, drag it out. Just take your time and fix your blemishes. Take your time and fix your blemishes. Take your time and fix your blemishes. So let me close the black and white so you can see the effect for after for after the black and white just for visual aid you must not use it just for you to be able to see where your blemishes are correctly nice just take your time and go around your image so We'll stop here for the purposes of this video so it doesn't get too long. But please take your time and go around your image and fix. You can even fix your eye bag. Just drag it down a little. Little like this. Nice. Just little. Make sure you are sampling a color that looks like it. Maybe here. Nice. Go back. Look at your image. So this is our... Let me delete my black. This is our overall before and after before after before after so thank you for watching this video please 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 click on subscribe and like so that you can always see when we upload new videos on this channel thank you